Hey now, so a friend of mine, Brad, just jumped in a lake today in freezing cold Michigan. And he asked me before he jumped in the lake, actually about a couple of weeks ago, if I would do a autograph analysis of Willie Mays, specifically talking about the Willie Mays holograms that he has, that it's called the Say Hey Hologram. Now, Willie Mays is the oldest living Hall of Famer, I believe, currently. And what's interesting about Willie Mays is his autograph has changed for the worse, unfortunately, so much between when he first entered even the Negro Leagues in 1948 till today, although he hasn't signed in a couple of years. Rumor is he's now completely blind. But I want to talk about the COA, the Willie May COA, and all the issues with it. And that also leads to the Barry Bond COA, because they go hand in hand. Because long story short with the COAs, the Willie May Say Hey COA, it says Say Hey right on it. It started out good a long, long time ago. But what happened was, is someone got really smart saying, we can create these COAs ourselves. Put it on Bad Willie Mays autographs, send them in to the TPAs, which is what they started doing. And a few of them got through because I think the TPAs just saw, oh, it's got the Say Hey COA. It was good. So this must be good. It, yeah, the COA looks a little different, but they didn't even look at the autograph. They looked at the COA, which is so dangerous. And then again, those manufacturers of those also, since Barry Bonds is Willie Mays' godson, said, let's do that with Barry Bonds also. And again, this is at the height of Bonds mania when he was breaking the home run record. So before we start, I want to show you two things. Number one is the Willie Mays autograph I actually got in person at Gibraltar Trade Center. A uh, quick little story about this. As you can see, this whole ball is all blue autographs except for Willie Mays. He was never the nicest signer. And I remember getting his autograph, and he gave me the ball. I mean, I handed him the ball. Yeah, there are already some autographs on there, like you can see uh, Rick, Rick Farrell's up here. And I asked him to sign in blue. So what does he do? He signs it in black. That's the kind of person Willie Mays is. And I remember getting the ball back. He rolled it across the table. I, like, didn't even hand it to me. This is obviously pre-COVID, 1994-ish. Very expensive at the time. I think he was $75. But... Just never a good person signer as long as I've been around and keeping up with him. So I want to go into that. Then we're going to talk about the Barry Bonds hologram also. And one thing to bring back is this is my Barry Bonds autograph. Again, I bought this uh, pre-steroids. Well, he described it 700 hormones, you can probably see. Now, Barry Bonds, to his credit, his company was one of the first companies to use holograms. So... You can see here his hologram is a square hologram. And it also has the MLB hologram on it as well. Uh, this is what his hologram looks like without up close. It looks like him swinging like that and running. So keep put that in the back of your head. Remember that. And we're going to go now and we're going to look online. So how you can not be duped by a Say Hey hologram or a Barry Bonds hologram. So what do you want to look for when you go look for a, look ignore these screens right now, for a Willie Mays autograph? So actually PSA's got a really nice autograph fax on Willie Mays. They've got quite a few examples, about 43 on there. And I want to show you what I would look for if I were buying a Willie Mays. And the key in all of it is in the last name, especially the last letter. And the reason why I say that, all the more later signatures, it's like a four and a bunch of scribble circles and they're all pretty same very easy to forge so but the maze is what changes so what i look for a lot is this last letter i i would ideally i want to see an r and not something that looks like a p now i know his last name ends with s i don't see the s from his later signature so again nice r here's another one you see it looks like m o r the m the o and the r let's look at another one here Looks like a nice lowercase r here. Everything looks, okay, this is obviously a much older signature now. That looks closer to the S. More recent signature looks like the R. So now let's take a look at some more that I was able to find here. Now I want to show you one more here, and this is where it gets really tough. Now, what I like about this is when you see the P, it's, and again, I call it a P, it looks like a P to me. It almost like it looks like a mop. But the end of the P goes over. Now, it gets really tough when we get to the holograms. Now, the first hologram I want to pull up here is 
let's go to, I'm going on eBay. This is the first one I pick up. Now you can see the nice big Willie Mae certified signature right here. But again, you'll notice no third party authentication. Now all the bad Willie Mae's autographs with the say hey authenticate, it looks like mop. And if you can make out a clear mop, especially where you see right here how the O goes up into the P. And again, I'm calling it a P, I know it's an S. That's a bad sign. It's a really, really bad sign. That's, I mean, and now all the TPAs, they look for the hologram and they just run. It, whereas before they would accept it, now I think they run. So now I am looking at Willie Mays autographs say hey on eBay. And you'll see almost all of them are bad. And some people say, oh, if the hologram's on the left, if the hologram's on the right, then it's good versus bad. It doesn't matter where the hologram is. Uh, the good holograms, and we'll show you one in a little bit. And again, here you see the mop. Let me focus in on that. You see the mop over there, the M, the O, and look, look a bad P going over. I mean, even on a good Willie Mays autograph we showed earlier, this P extended all the way over to the M. And all the bad ones are pretty similar. Let's keep going down here. And you'll notice nearly none of these are actually certified by third-party authentication, just by say hey. And unfortunately, a lot of people think the say hey is all you need for it to be a good Willie Mays. Who would forge that? And I answer is a lot of one. Uh, here is get another bad one. And the, something with the Say Hey hologram. Well, this one actually has a PSA sticker on it, but I don't think it's good. Because again, it's M-O and like the big P. And the little drop down at the end of that P. Let me focus it in right here. Right here, that, when you see that little drop down, it's almost like a telltale sign to run from the autograph, in my opinion. Uh, I know PSA passed this. It's an older PSA search, so I would still stick away from that. Uh, I want to show you the one. This one here, say, hey, COA, I don't think it's good. Let's keep going down, keep going down. I want to show you a, a one that has both that I think is good. It's further down here. Again, all these, you see the MOP, MOP, MOP. This one here, again, I still, I see the Say Hey hologram, I just run. There was one I saw with a Say Hey hologram that I thought it was good. And the original ones that were good, believe it or not, the Say Hey hologram is actually a lot smaller. And I thought I saw a baseball with the Say Hey that I thought it was good. Unfortunately, I don't see it right now. Let's take a look at this one. This one, believe it or not, okay, this one I think is good. A real Say Hey hologram. So if you look at the autograph, let's pull it up here. Notice it's not an M-O with a whole P. It still looks like an R, which is really important. So let's keep going down. I want to look at that hologram again. Look how small this Say Hologram, say hey hologram is. Uh, keep that in mind and let's compare that again. Let's pull another one up. You see, it doesn't cover most of the panel to a bad one. And it's not real pixelated, that hologram. Whereas you go to... Almost all the bad ones. I should say all the bad ones. Okay, let's pick, take this one here. The hologram. Look how much bigger that hologram is. Look how it's not nearly as detailed and it takes up a lot more room. So whoever did the Say Hey authenticated hologram that weren't good, they said, you know what? Let's pick up Barry Bonds. So they go to Barry Bonds. And again, I put Barry Bonds. Let's put COA. I want you to look at all these COAs from the Barry Bonds hologram. They're big and round. Uh, right here. And guess what? This does not match his hologram at all. You can even go to BarryBonds.com today and the hologram you're going to get is a square hologram. Ignore the autograph. Look at this hologram. I don't think any of these holograms are good. They're not going to pass the TPA. And so if you ever want to sell them, I mean, it's pretty much worthless. Even if the autograph was good, the hologram scares people away. The one thing I've seen lately is some people will buy the Willie Mays and the Barry Bonds autographs pretty cheap, and they'll just take off the hologram and hope that a TPA passes it. So really be on the lookout. As I always say, buy the autograph. Don't buy the authentication. Hope that helps. And as always, keep collecting.